All right, we are in the front yard and the uh, flowering quince is flowering and it is January the 29th and uh, we are, there it is, see it, right there. Now these uh, flowers can be, they're too bitter to eat uh, raw, so you can uh, put them in jams and jellies and that sort of thing or cook with them and uh, they are much tastier. But I'm not going to take the whole thing, I'm just going to take a petal. Now they're not toxic, they're not poisonous. They, uh, they say they're too bitter to eat, but that was very, very pleasant. But it is January the 29th, it is Wednesday. <laughs> uh, this is Grandpa's little girl, uh, granddaughter. Uh, say hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Tell everybody what Grandpa eats. Grandpa eats, I forgot. <laughs> Weeds and flowers. Weeds and flowers. Uh-huh. Tell everybody, say, you have to learn your wild edibles. You have to, everyone, you have to learn your ad edibles. Wild edibles, right? I said wild. I know. Wild edibles. Uh-huh. So that was the flowering quince. And in January, if it happens to flower in January, it is tasty, very pleasant, very pleasant. Now, now they say that they're too bitter to eat, but you can make jams and jellies out of them, but that one was not too bitter to eat. Anyway, hey, I am not an expert. You need to consult with a local expert before you go eating anything. We'll see ya. Ah!